and welcome to Most Haunted. It is said that no matter where you roam in the castle behind me, you're bound to find a ghost. With strange mist, full apparitions, a witch and headless horses, we just had to come and investigate Castile Dorworth. Standing on the River Rhine, the original Castile Dorworth was a wooden fortress that was destroyed in 1260. A stone-built replacement followed, a pattern that has been repeated during its troubled past. The most recent and notable destruction occurred when World War II's Battle of Arnhem wiped out the majority of the castle. After extensive renovation, Queen Juliana reopened the castle as a museum in 1986. Most of the items in this castle are not original, but of course, the fabric of the building, the stone, the bricks, and of course the woodwork, was used again to rebuild this fantastic castle. In the Knights Hall, it's been reported that a spirit of a previous owner has been seen walking across the floor, and poltergeist activity has been occurring here quite regularly. But it's through this door that the story continues. The tormented soul of Lord Dorenver, the original owner of the castle, walks these stairs and the rest of this magnificent building. People who worked here in wintertime, they had someone walking around on every floor and, um, and they expected the castle again. And that happened in some time, in some week, several times. He was a lonely old man who lived here. One day, a knight and his wife came to visit. The Baron had too much to drink and was making advances to the knight's wife. A duel took place, the knight was killed, and the Baron offered the lady his hand in marriage. During the night, she stabbed herself through the heart to avoid marriage to this old man. And within weeks of this, he also died during a storm. And they say that on a stormy night, his ghost still wanders the corridors, some of the rooms, and the staircases of this old castle. Although the inside of the castle is very haunted, the outside holds a fear all of its own. In the dead of night, a witch in a carriage pulled along by headless horses wanders along this road in an endless quest to find victims to take to the other side. Two spirits are said to haunt the cellars. These would have originally been part of the castle's dungeons. The ghost of a servant who, when found stealing, killed his accuser and was left to starve. A young girl was also left to die down here by her father. But it's not her ghost that's been seen down here, it's her father's. Is he looking for forgiveness or release from this terrible deed? We have 24 hours to find out. We are all interested to know if the supernatural spirits that we believe to exist in the United Kingdom are just as prominent in the Netherlands. At our request, medium Derek Akora has flown out to join the rest of the crew. Richard Felix had spent many hours researching the castle and was keen to know if Derek would pick up on any of the historical facts that he had researched. With everyone eager to see if Derek could transfer his psychic powers onto foreign fields, it was time to begin our investigation at Castile Dorworth. apparent to me every, right now at the moment as we look at the way you know this cellar is painted and what have you um, for a short time there um, I, I, I'm in a scenario where just quickly I'm watching the energy of a man so, so I've got to take this to be a replay when I don't know how far back I don't know at this point but it's like as if I've got this man's energy coming through into this area and in repeating his thoughts. In other words, I feel it in torment, actually, mm -hmm. some kind of torment. And that torment, most definitely, I feel, has to do um, with... Um, I'm aware, again, of, again, coming from the residual energy, a hatred. 
the hatred that is displayed. And I feel the hatred is displayed in this atmosphere at the man. At the man? At the man. So who's showing the hatred? Um, I feel... Um, I feel as if a woman, a female, who hates this, the thought of this man, I feel as if um, there's a lot of cruelty here. Cruelty. And that cruelty is as if he's centred his thoughts, and I feel he was being very nasty, violent with this lady. Um, and it's like as if against... The only way I can put it, because it's like my will has been taken away from me here. So I feel it was against her will that he was showing and displaying... Um, this feeling, it's like as if he, um, it was a man, it was a man who lived here, it was a man who lived here, mm -hmm. who I feel this must have belonged to it, or he was connected very strongly with this building, and um, she lost her trust in him, okay, why did she lose trust? He was a what? He was a family. She, they were of the same family. Mm -hmm. Of the same family. Mm -hmm. Was it his wife? Was it his wife? It was daughter. His daughter. It, the man's daughter. He locked her away. He locked her away. Okay. And he left her. In this, in this area down here? Uh, yeah. Can I just say here? It's not the way it really should be. Okay. Because this looking bright and what have you. And I feel as if I want to go through there. Mm -hmm. See this wall here? Yeah. I want to go through there. Yeah. And I want to go into another area. And it's on this level where she was locked away. Who was she? Can you give us a name? I'll ask. Yeah. Can you give me a name, Sam? That's still not given... Maybe, like in yeah. other places, we'll get it as it's going yeah. along, yeah. you know, just give them... What time period would you say that he would have oh, done wow. this to his daughter? Well, you know, it's, this is what I, it comes mm. from the, the floor here. I feel, and it certainly doesn't look it, but I feel as if um, we can go back here, in this ether, in this atmosphere, to probably around... Because um, I sort of figure in my mind's eye, um, the 13th century. OK. Back to then. Okay. Um, and I feel it as if. Um... Oh, <sighs> sorry. Mm. Oh. You're right. Yeah. What are you seeing? He did this. He not just locked her away. She perished. She perished because of him. And I also want to bring this in now. Mm -hmm. And there was a connection. Mm -hmm. He locked her away because he'd heard or he had proof or there was a connection with in this area, going back to that time and a little bit before, there was practising witchcraft. Mm -hmm. And this young female, okay, had some kind of link with a female, mm -hmm. a woman, an older woman, who dealt in these arts, in this dark arts. And I feel that was one of the reasons he blamed, he, he, you know, you're one of those. Yeah. Our investigation at Castile Dorworth is being closely observed by Richard Felix. But do the initial energies that Derek reports bear any relation to what our historian knows to be fact? Interesting. He, he's mentioned a father and daughter, and certainly in the 1300s, um, a father did incarcerate his daughter down here in these dungeons. That is quite correct. But the strange thing is that we believe she didn't die that she actually escaped from here. The father died, and as Derek says, quite rightly, he actually still haunts this place. So, um, not a bad start. As we endeavor to solve who this discontented spirit is, we were unaware that Castile Dorworth would soon provide us with contact from beyond the grave. Please try and show yourself, try and communicate with us. Give us a sign. Oh, yes. 
Our investigation in the Netherlands has already indicated the presence of a young girl who suffered at the hands of a...